Hello everybody and welcome to Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday here on the morning routine and we got a few things to cover as we always do, but we have to start where? With the headlines. Headlines, you guys aren't awake yet out there, so we'll do some headlines. Here we go. Broil, broil, you know it's the broil setting in your oven. Broil your grilled cheese for faster, crunchier results. Okay, I'm listening. Faster, crunchier results. That's what I'm looking for. Not too crunchy, not too crunchy. Too crunchy, not so goody. Need it just like, just a little bit of, little bit of crunch when you're cracking into it. You know, just a little bit, just a little bit. That's good, yeah. But broiler, that's in your oven. It's the top, uh, top heating element in your oven. That's your broiler. Mmm, that could be pretty good. All right, moving right along. Uh, Keanu Reeves offers Constantine 2 update and wants to play Wolverine. Two things. One, Constantine was a great movie. It came out in the mid-2000, somewhere in there. 2005, 4, 3, 2, 1, something like that. Anyway, uh, really cool show. Kind of dark, sinister. Has to do with demons and the devil and stuff like that, but it's pretty good. It's a, it's a good uh, Keanu Reeves movie, so go back and watch that. Constantine 2 would be awesome. Now, Keanu Reeves playing Wolverine. I am wildly intrigued about that. That could be really good, and it could be really... Uh, I don't know about Keanu Reeves doing that. Rah, 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 yeah. You know, you never know. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, Prince William's... Prince William and Kate Middleton's wax figures torn apart online. Scared me, someone says. Yeah, the, the wax figures. You ever been to a wax museum? A wax museum is it's wax figures of famous or infamous people and it's always kind of creepy it's always a little weird because the faces aren't perfect they're just just a little weird so it always looks a little weird when you go to the wax museum and you see Arnold Schwarzenegger it's like eh, it's just it's just off just weird enough but those those are straight up creepy whoever made those I think was kind of having a little fun with it but those are creepy so not that I side with Prince William and Kate Middleton on anything, <laughs> probably something, but I'm, I'm kind of with them. This, these are weird, very weird, yeah, anyway. All right, so what do we got going today? It is Wednesday, so we always do the Dress to Impress uh, winners, and we will do that right now. We got a cool new, new way of picking that. We got all the names of the winners in here, these little cards, so we're gonna shake it up and you see it pop out, whoop, a couple popping out real quick. All right. We're gonna pick our winners. We're looking for three. Number one is, drum roll please. All right, close enough. Number one is, Zach, Zach. You are the, not, not, not Zach Weiss, not Zach Weiss, the other Zach. Zach, Zach, yay, Zach. Nice job dressing up, buddy. That's our first, we got Zach. We'll shake it up again, see what we got. And our next winner is Connor. Connor, nice job, buddy. And we need one more, and then we'll pick our staff. One more, here we go. Who do we got? We got, we got, um, do I still got a drum roll going on? Ray, did you put a drum roll in? <laughs> Josh, Josh, nice job. Josh is always good with a tie. Nice job, everybody. Keep dressing up. We'll see who our winners are next week. We don't need those anymore, but now we need our staff. See who the staff is. We have some good dressed up staff. We'll shake those up real good. Here we go. Yeah, there, there wasn't any coffee in here. I drank it all, finally. Yeah. All right, and our staff taking out our group today to talk business plans and other cool stuff and have some coffee is... Alana! Yay! So that's our group. We got Alana. We got Josh. Connor and Zach going to talk business, going to have some fun, going to have some coffee. Good job, everybody. Keep up the good work, getting dressed up, all kind of fun stuff. It is good. It is good. We talked about it. Let's see. Uh, Monday on the live, we talked about dressing up. Important. All right, moving right along. Okay, so mentioned this last week, and you guys might have heard about it a little bit. It is a pilot program being offered by MJC, this is it right here. 
Learn Connect Work. It is a certificated program at MJC. At the end of it, you get a certificate. We're gonna put this little barcode on the screen so you guys can pause it, you know, and then you can screenshot that or you can put your camera up to that and you can go check out the information. You can register online for this, but we're gonna talk about it real quick. Okay, so this is a, this is a learning, a, uh, learning for all abilities program through MJC. And I'll read this to you here. It's a learning for all abilities curriculum is designed for students with any disability who may need assistance in developing or enhancing life skills to increase their level of independence. Uh, students will complete three, a three course curriculum. We'll talk about those in a second, where they will build skills in culinary arts, arts, workplace excellence, wellness fundamentals, and a parent or personal assistant must accompany students uh, to all classes if you're not independent. All right, so this is gonna start, uh, it's going to start, the orientation is gonna be April 4th. Okay, that's gonna be the orientation. Deadline to register for this class, for this three unit class, uh, three uh, part class is, uh, let's see, today's Wednesday, it's next Friday, March 17th is the last day to register, okay? So let's talk about it a little bit. What are we learning? We're learning about some culinary arts. What is culinary arts? It is learning to work with food, learning to work in a kitchen, use utensils, food safety, all that kind of stuff. One of the cool things about this, we do this here, but you're gonna do this here as well, is you're gonna be able to get your food handlers card during this portion of the class, okay? So that's pretty cool. And when you learn this stuff, it works for all types of restaurants. So fast food, fancy restaurant, deli, uh, you know, deli in a grocery store, food handling. Anytime you're handling food for preparation or whatnot, that's what it's for, okay? So with that, not only are you gonna learn that core skill, but you're gonna learn some supporting skills. That's the workplace excellence, or workplace essential skills, okay? So here's where we're gonna, customer service. You know, if you're working at a deli counter, you gotta be able to work with them, communication, things like that. How to be successful as an employee of a company, right? So that's some pretty good skills. And then the third component is the wellness fundamentals. This is taking care of yourself, your health, your personal health. Like, am I eating right? Am I taking my vitamins if I take vitamins? If I take, if I have medications, am I taking them regularly? Am I drinking enough water? All that kind of stuff. You gotta be healthy, you know, when you go to work. You can't be sick all the time, right? The other part is just taking care of your personal self. Where's your personal leadership at? You know I've talked about this a lot. Where's your personal leadership? Am I taking care of my time management? Am I taking care of being prepared? Am I ready to go to work? Do I have my, if I have a uniform, is it clean? Is it ready to go? So it's help with all those pieces. So the cool part about this is one, it's through MJC and you're getting an official certificate that says you did all these cool things and this is the proof of it. And you can take that to, uh, you can put that on your resume. You can take that with you to uh, a job interview. Really cool and it just demonstrates you went and learned about these skills. You took the time, the effort, energy to go and learn about these skills and now you wanna go practice them. So that's a really cool thing when it comes to getting a job. The other part that's really cool about it is that you have very defined skill set now that employers are looking for if you want to go work in the restaurant industry. Very, very cool. All right. And it's at MJC. This is pretty cool. All right. So you want to scan this. You want to go check it out. You want to get registered by next Friday, March 17th. Okay. And there is a cost. It is $500 for the class because there's stuff involved. There's space involved, stuff like you're using the utensils and the things in the classroom. They have to pay a professor to come and teach. This is a real life culinary professor from a <laughs> real life as opposed to a fake one. A real uh, certificated professor teaching how to do these skills for the culinary arts and the rest of it. Okay, so it's a big deal. This isn't this isn't hokey pokey, just a, you know, random class. So there's a cost involved, which means there's value involved in it, okay? We are looking at some potential sponsorships, but right now we need to know your interest. If you'd like to ask someone about it, ask Gabrielle or myself about it, and we can uh, answer any questions you got, point you in the right direction, uh, and talk to you about potential funding options, okay? All right, so that's a really big deal. Got questions, you wanna ask about it. Learn, work, connect. Culinary Arts class.
Very cool, very cool stuff. Nice that we're very happy as VCI to be a part of this. There's several organizations that are part, they're working with uh, MJC on this thing, hoping that it will grow into something much more. There's only 20 slots available, by the way, for this class. Only 20 people are gonna get selected. So there could be, it's being advertised all over the place. So there could be, it could fill up really fast. So if you're interested, you gotta hop on this right away. All right. Now, where should we go from here? Well, it's Wednesday. We talked about you know uh, some educational opportunities for employment. We talked about our Just to Impress. There's nowhere else to go but to get with Zach on some work-related stuff. Don't know what it is, let's find out. Hey, Chris, thanks for coming out. Oh, Ready. hold on one second. Yeah. Yes, Blaine, can I help you? Oh, really bad news. What's up? Bon Jovi, but... Okay, well, kind of in the middle of a meeting over here. Maybe you can tell me about that later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, sorry about that, Chris. So, as I was saying... Right. Oh, hold on one second. Yes, Blaine. Have you heard this band called uh, Slipknot? <laughs> Don't burn an eye! <laughs> Yes, I have heard the band Slipknot playing. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of a meeting over here. I have to talk to Chris about something really important. Okay. Uh, could you give us a minute? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, Chris. So, as I was saying... Hey. What do you want? <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Christopher? Hey, what are you having for lunch today? Sandwich. Oh, that sounds great. I think I'm gonna have a burger. Hey, Ray! Uh, oh, hi, Blaine. What's uh, happening, man? I got my new drum kit, and this cost one hundred dollars. So I want to. Can you come to my house, and I can you practice me playing the drums? Um, sure. I was kind of having a conversation with Chris, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. We could talk about the drums later. Okay, thank you. All right. See you later. See you later. Work, 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 Hi, it's Wednesday. My name is Zach. We are going to do work related facts with Zach. <laughs> work related stuff. I mean, I'm just... work related stuff with Zach. I'm playing around, guys. Sorry. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week, man. Uh, we're going to see a couple videos today. And if you watch these videos, you know, you're going to see uh, them take place. And um, you're going to see someone who really can't wait to get their two cents in, right? So what I'm talking about is interrupting, right? We have a tendency to do it in our just our personal conversations we're having with people. We have our tendencies to do it at work, maybe when someone's talking at work or in a work meeting. Um, we don't respect maybe the door being shut. Um, basically, to get to the gist of it, the problem with interrupting is number one, it's rude. Um, you know, uh, because what you're showing the individual is that. What they're saying is not important to you and that whatever you have to say is, is is more important all right and so we want to consider that whenever we're talking it also shows you're not really listening because how can you be listening to somebody if you're already formulating a response or something else to say right so it's really important to show that kind of respect towards any individual. Now, I will say one thing, on the flip side, if you happen to be the one who might be in a meeting or you might be in a conversation and someone comes in and does interrupt you, you know, there's things to say like, hey, you know what, I'm very curious about it. Let me talk to you about that a little bit later. Or how about, hey, give me a few minutes and let's return to this. Um, I don't want to forget to talk about that. Let me just finish what I'm saying. So there's polite ways to interject. Now, if you're going to be on the other end of it, and you're going to just walk in and be all, hey, everybody, I'm here. Look at me. Oak Dell, bud. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, there's a way to do it. You know, number one, excuse me. 
you know, we talk about waiting for that pause, all right? Just, you know, say, excuse me, wait. Maybe say, oh, I'm sorry, I'll come back later. There's various things to do to help you out during that time so you don't come across as rude, self-centered, and only, you know. Oh, hey, Zach, what's up? Oh, Ray, you know, I'd love to talk about this. Can we get to it in a few minutes, maybe? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. You, you look really busy. Oh, no, I, pre- I appreciate it, Ray. What are you talking about? Interrupting? Interrupting, people? actually. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, we'll talk about it more later. Thanks. So, as you can see, Ray was very excited about something. And, you know, believe it or not, that is one of the biggest reasons we do interrupt, actually, guys. So, sometimes we have to contain our excitement. And we have to just sit there and let the person finish. They say one of the biggest things and reasons one of the people interrupt is because we do get excited about it. So, guys, be polite. Don't interrupt. You know, respect what the other person's saying. Listen to them. When they're done, they're going to have plenty of time to talk to you about what it is you want to talk to. Hey, Ray, what was that again anyway? Have a good day, everybody. Work-related stuff. Very cool. More work-related stuff. All right. What's the national day today? Maybe it's related to employment. Probably not, but who knows? We could probably tie it in. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Here we are in the middle of the day. No, it's not the middle of the day. We're in the middle of the week. Yes. No, we see this early in the morning. So it's not the middle. It's Wednesday anyway. And it's what? You got it. Boop day. Ah, uh, very good. So, what could we have in the middle of the week that would be so exciting? It's not. Until you read something. It's National Proofreaders Day. Sounds kind of like a funny one, but have you ever read something that somebody's given you and you go, oh, and you pick it up and you say, oh, wait a minute, that's misspelled. There should have been a punctuation there. Oh, should have been a period. That should have been capitalized. They spelled that wrong. That's proofreading. And they have people that just do that. I know with computers and everything now, the Google's supposed to fix it but they don't always catch it all, believe me. You know, I think it's good that the little squiggly line comes underneath there and it gives you an option, but sometimes it's right to begin with, but they don't think it's right. So there are people out there and that's all they do is they proofread stuff. And then probably somebody proofreads their stuff just to catch it, just in case. And then still sometimes things don't get caught because for one reason or another, but proofreading. I usually get the job of proofreading a lot of different things on boards that I sit on. And after a while, I think I'm going loony toony because everything starts to look alike. So I don't know how anybody does it for a living. It would drive me, you know, crazy -er than I already am. But it is an important job because can you imagine getting stuff that wasn't proofread, what it would look like? What a conundrum would that be? Could have wrong times, wrong dates. There could be there, and it's supposed to be us, not over there for the there, which, you know, we have a weird language anyway. We've got way too many things that mean the same thing. That's why they say, technically, English is the toughest language for people to learn when it's not their first language. So, next time you read something and it doesn't look quite right, or you do read something that is totally right, you could thank a proofreader, but if it's not, well, nobody proofread it. So, there you go. So everybody have a great day today on National Proofreaders Day. All right, and that is it for Wednesday, everybody. Great Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday. The weather is going to be back. It's going to be off and on rainy for the next (laughs) week and a half. So uh, that's not very exciting. But at least we won't have to listen to all the drought complaining 
when we when the rain stops there'll be no more drought complaining for at least about a year and a half and then it'll start again but at least we'll get a small reprieve anyway have a great wednesday everybody we'll see you tomorrow thursday on the morning routine oh live one o'clock today we'll see what's going on there youtube is the live yeah see you guys Man, that one's terrible